roughly 10 years ago, me and a friend decided to fuck around and make a short film called Attack of the Killer Snake because I had a, a snake plushie. I'm gonna review them today because I had nothing else to review. Why not? So the filmmaker begins cleverly in medias res. Guys, guys, welcome. All right, you may be wondering how I'm, I got here. It's not annoying at all. The, the director made a smart choice not scripting any of the dialogue. Because it's a long story, but there's a killer snake loose, and it's, and it's, and... It's so great to just see the actors look for what to say next. The director here makes a, a smart choice to just show people handling the snake and you're just supposed to pretend they're not there. It's directly confronting the viewer and forcing them to to engage with the text non-literally. I'm gonna stop doing that now. I feel like the bit's getting old. The point is that this sucks. <laughs> So this is a little inside baseball here. I was supposed to cover the camera so we could transition transition to the flashback. I missed. So just try it again. <laughs> Who needs a second take? So uh, I'm new to internet blogs, but I think we'll we'll be good. I think we'll be good. I'll we'll have good vlogs and. If anything interesting happens, I'm sure we'll, we'll still upload, even if one of us, you know, something crazy happens. I love the attempt to justify why this video is still uploaded, even though spoilers, both of us die. Well, it still makes no sense, but uh, spoilers, in the, in the second one, I retconned that I didn't actually die and that I somehow survive. So after all this happens, I nearly die, miraculously live. I'm like, this could get some clicks though. We've just been sitting here and doing nothing. There are some noises, but uh... Then that's just the house being creaky. Hmm. Uh. Yep. Uh, so, uh, thank you guys for watching my internet blogs, too. Uh, hope you enjoyed. Ashton's changing right now. I'll be back with another blog when he changes. So, Ashton's done changing. <laughs> That was necessary. So Ashton sees something in the bathroom, and for some reason I don't believe him. <gasps> oh god, this fucking snake! Let me get it off! Grab the camera! Grab the camera! Ugh. Unplug it! Run! Run! Do 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 do. Grab the camera! Grab the camera! Ugh. I don't understand. <laughs> this is weird, like, kid logic. Oh no, there's a snake in the house. Let's run to the kitchen that doesn't have a door. I don't understand why in the logic of the movie we think we're safe here. I love the camera work. I love how it pauses for like five seconds at a time. I love how it's a completely static shot. What was that? Life without a snake. <laughs> what was that? No! <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Internet blog. <laughs> that hard cut from Ashton fucking dying. To, hey guys, what's going on? So last time I was here, my friend died brutally. Today we're we're brought to you by Raycon. It, it looked kind of weird. I I don't know what happened. I yeah, it did look kind of weird. I I am in agreement with thirteen year old me. So so a couple problems with this. Ah uh, ah. Uh. Guys, 
Nice. So a couple problems with this. One, why did I set the laptop down, start a new recording, and just pretend as if this is the first recording? Two, I, I love the, the the director's choice to um to to film <laughs> to show the exact same shot in its entirety uh, again for the audience. You know, it's it's really a statement on the the nature of subjective reality. <laughs> Oh, oh, this was just Ashton fucking around. He, he was just like, wouldn't it be funny if I was dead on the ground and crawled out? And I was like, okay. Come on, come on. Come on. So, <laughs> me looking back as if the snake's gonna move. Something weird is that I guess I'm uploading the previous vlogs, but this is supposed to be like found footage of the vlog. So am I, so I'm not uploading any of this stuff that's going on right now. I'm just uploading the, the previous vlogs, which, what was that gonna do? Also, they would have gotten taken down by YouTube. I don't think they're gonna allow a video of a kid getting bit by a snake and dying. This is where I ran into a problem, see, because Ashton had already gotten out of frame, he, he was hiding under the bench, but I had thrown the snake away. So what do I do? I just run over to the snake and toss it on me. Oh no! That was just a rip off of Ashton's death. Shot on location, my house. Thank you, credit sequence. And then we get the most epic after credit sequence in the history of all times where the snake looks at the camera. You're next. So a year passes. I decided to do a sequel for some reason. So the story of this one is that Matthew, I don't think we had character names. I just realized we're just, I don't even think we have names at all. So Matthew just comes in and is doing a vlog about uh, going into an abandoned house. And it's the killer snake house. So he decides, he comes across a laptop that has a bunch of videos on it and just decides to watch them. It's not a laptop. It's just a bunch of videos. Might as well watch them. And this is like, this is the point where these shorts go from funny bad to just boring and bad. It, most of it is just recapping shit that already happened. Hey guys, what's up? This is my internet vlog. We filmed some stuff and it wasn't enough. It must have been like five minutes total. So I, I guess I just wanted to pad the runtime. Or maybe I just assumed that no one had seen the first one, so they needed a recap. So uh, that door is not coming open. Sad. Oh, but that's creepy. Oh, it's open. Literally. And another problem with the second one, Revenge of the Killer Snake, is that a lot of it is is basically backfilling what I did. Because it's revealed I survived, and it's bullshit. I don't even give a reason why I survived. But I survive, and most of it is just me fucking around in front of a camera by myself. And it's just not as entertaining. There's a bit in this short film where I just like can't stand up, like my legs aren't working, and it goes on for two minutes, and it's painful. What happened? <gasps> oh God, it's the snakes. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and right as it gets good, like there's actually gonna be some action, it just cuts to black, and it's a to be continued. Oh shit, the snake! Out the back door! This one just sucks. It's, I think part of the reason it sucked was because I decided I wanted to make a sequel, but I had lost the snake plushie. So I don't know why I decided to do a sequel, even though I didn't have the thing that you need for a sequel to a, a short film about a snake. 
uh, yeah, just nothing happens in it. It's terrible. So then a, another year later, I made the final chapter, Conquest of the Killer Snake. It's a direct continuation from the last one, which is funny because you can tell we aged a year. I oh, just ran away from the snake. Wait. And this is why the second one sucks so hard is because we had to basically do a conclusion to the second one as the opening of part three. Uh, oh shit, there's a snake! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, man, you killed it! I don't know why we didn't think to just step on it earlier. That's embarrassing. He can leave now. Okay. So, so Joseph is like coming, coming to my house, and he's making a documentary or something. And I explained to him what happened, and most of it, again, is just flashbacks to the first movie and the second movie. It all started two years ago, May something, two thousand fourteen. Uh, and this one we got around the snake, not having the snake plushie by just using a stick and pretending that was a snake. Oh god, it's a snake! Oh shit! That is the fucking stick! This one sort of captures a bit of the charm of the original. Like the just fucking around having fun aspect of it. But again, it's just too bogged down in backstory to really be... Fun. Oh, look, look. I'm not about to lose another. Well, you're not a friend. You're just a random strange. But I'm not gonna lose another. You fucking get. Ah! <laughs> the second one should have been me and Matthew fighting off the snake, and the third one should have been me and Joseph fighting off the snake. That's that's really what it should have been, and that would should have been it. I don't know why I reviewed this is in a retrospective video that is privated so figured I should talk about it somewhere that you can see I guess next month I'll review a real movie why not on the house